Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and today we've got three amazing Town Hall 12 attack strategies using the new Lava Loon Puppet because at Town Hall 12, it's absolutely amazing. I would suggest trying to get it to level 9, that's when you get that second Lava Loon to help out. So guys, this is the first attack we're going to be using. 14 dragons, 3 clone spells and 2 rage spells. Clan Castle Troops, couple of yetis inside the stone slammer if you can get it. Let's keep it nice and simple, just 14 dragons and some clone spells to clone those lava loons. Hero equipment, it's up to you. Obviously you're going to need a lava loon puppet on the Grand Warden, but this is what I'm going to be using. So on the king, I've got spiky ball and earthquake boots. On the queen, giant arrow and healer puppet, that's a great combination for air attacks on the grand warden lava loom puppet and eternal tome i found it worked best with an eternal tome combination so first stage of the attack is normally going to be sending your queen with that giant arrow to take out air defenses or air sweepers just line her up with the base send that giant arrow through the base i know sometimes it can be difficult guys but just you know a bit of practice you'll be able to line up that giant arrow quite effectively after a few attempts that'll start our attack we've got a mini queen walk in the corner of the base there king on the left hand side to help out stone slammer on the right hand side and then those dragons over on the right hand side with a grand warden on air mode I like to use the Grand Warden ability quite early to protect as many dragons as possible. Then, of course, those Lava Loons are going to come out. They're going to head straight towards the nearest air defense. You sort of need to think about that. Just think what's going to happen. They're going to move across to the nearest air defense. That's why it's useful to take out a couple of air defenses with the Queen's ability early on. Look after your Lava Loons. Use those clone spells to clone them. One clone spell will get you one Lava Loon. So we've got two plus three clone spells. We can have five Lava Loons at Town Hall 12. That that makes a massive difference. The only thing I would say, watch out with your Lava Loons for the enemy queen. She can really take out a lot of Lava Loons quite quickly. So if you can take out the enemy queen with your queen and king, try and do that. Or maybe try and send in your dragons and Grand Warden to take out the queen as well. Then you don't need to worry about that. As you can see, guys... How easy was that? I know it's a friendly challenge on hard mode, but this is how I practice. Loads of dragons left and a lava loon as well. I think that was Larry the Lava Loon. On to the next attack, something a bit different. I want to give you something to show off to your clan mates. So you've got one baby dragon and nine lava hounds. Same spells, same sort of basis for the attack, a spam attack, but lava hounds work really well with the lava loons. I can't say that really quickly. Lava hounds, lava loons, keep getting them mixed up. Anyway, yes, here we go so it's the same again with the queen and if you don't have giant iron healer puppet don't worry too much use what you've got but for air attacks guys it really really is good so your main priority try and take out a couple of air defenses normally they're lined up in the base some people have started changing them around to make it more difficult but normally yeah you'll get a couple that'll leave one more maybe to take out with the king and stone slammer then you have one air defense to focus on for those lava loons so here we go we've sent in the lava hounds towards that air defense we've used the grand warden ability nice and early now this isn't going to be as powerful as the previous attack or the next attack we're going to check out but it's just totally different guys and it's a lot of fun and it's a sort of attack if you're doing some friendly challenges in your clan or even if you think you know what I'm going to try it out in the war maybe after a bit of a practice I would suggest you know people are going to watch and think wow that's that's different that's pretty impressive so the lava hounds are normally get to the air defense it looks like a bit quicker than the lava loons they're about the same speed I'm not actually sure but remember to clone the lava loons the lava hounds will help them out help take some of the damage from defenses and the lava loons will do loads and loads of damage as well we're cloning the lava loons at the top of the base there obviously like i said though this isn't going to be as quick as the other one but we've got loads of lava hounds flying around i mean obviously it is actually better if they get destroyed and you've got some lava pups we've still got about i don't know six seven lava hounds flying around the base and they don't really do much damage but as you can see guys this has been pretty powerful and we have managed to get three stars quite easily now i know town hall 12 is probably in quite an easy place at the moment to get three stars anyway but i honestly do believe lava loon puppet and eternal tome is the best combination for the grand warden at town hall 12 fireball is amazing as are the other combinations for the grand warden but lava loon puppet is just so powerful at town hall 11 12 and 13 so on to our last attack everybody loves electro dragons guys so i wanted to show you it's the same basis again same spell same clan council troops there's no point changing those clone spells we need them for the lava loon so it's just a change of troops 
I probably would say the first attack, all dragons, is probably my favourite attack. It's the easiest to use. But electro dragons, for some people, they find them really easy to use. I'm not a massive fan of electro dragons myself. Same basis again, sending the queen giant arrow through the base, king to help out, stone slammer on that compartment. Electro dragons, anything you need to be mindful of with them is make sure they go into the base. They can be quite difficult to funnel. So maybe use the king, the baby dragon on one side, then send in the Grand Warden. Of course, it's going to be the same again. Use the Grand Warden ability to protect as many Electro Dragons as you can. Hopefully, we're going to take out the Town Hall here. We've used a Rage spell over on the right-hand side. And you can, of course, use those clone spells on these attack strategies for the troops as well. If you want to get an extra dragon, Lava Hound, Electro Dragon. I think you can clone an Electro Dragon at Town Hall 12, can't you? Yeah, so it doesn't need to just be for your Lava Loons, but I think it is the best use of your clone spells, to be honest. And as you can see, guys, we're overpowering the base again. We're going to get three stars. We've used the King ability and Lava Loons. I think are amazing. I've got town halls all the way from town hall 10 to 16. And I find that these lower town hall levels, they are just fantastic. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus Army for more videos like this. And do remember on this channel, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases. Our code is code moose. Have a lovely day. Stay hydrated and I'll see you later, guys. Bye.